that means that she watched either the executions or the immediate aftermath. This is the story of Doña Villalagüe, age 29, a mother of four who was shot and killed alongside her husband and her six-year-old daughter in a revenge killing. Donavia's ex-lover, Alexis Williams, age 29, who she had dated while separated from her husband decided to kill her whole family for leaving her and going back to be with her husband after they dated for a short while. The hired hitman, Xavier Davis, age 28, was later apprehended when Donavia's 10-year-old who got shot but played dead later helped police solve the case. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Tonight a new arrest in a shocking triple murder from last year. A couple shot and killed along with their six-year-old daughter and investigators say all three were killed on the orders of a woman who was a jilted lover. This case will be taking us to Houston, Texas. Alive with energy and rich in diversity, Houston is a dynamic mix of imagination, talent and first-class attractions that makes it a world-class city. A city where urban chic meets southern hospitality. Houston is known to be one of the top 100 most dangerous cities in the USA. Donavia Lagwe, age 29, was a mother to four adorable kids. She had kids of ages between 1 and 10. Hey y'all. Uh, today Friday. What's the thing? What are we doing today? Okay. My baby don't feel good. They were the love of her life. She was close to every one of them. She loved them so much that she told her friends and family she would go to the end of the world for her kids. Donavia, who attended Yates High School, worked at the William Hobby Airport before she was involved in this terrible incident. She was said to be a diligent and hardworking person. Donavia was married to 35-year-old Gregory Carhi. They had their ups and downs in their relationship. He was said to really love his kids, he is said to provide and protect them as much as he could. He was a very good father to the kids and nice person but sometimes things didn't just go well for them in their relationship. They tried to fix things but it was hard. After a bit of effort, Donavia decided to try something new, she realized she liked to date ladies so she gave it a go. Although she was still married to Gregory, they were separate at the time according to friends. Donavia met a lady by the name of Alexis Williams, age 29. They fell in love and kicked it for a while. It didn't take too long before Donavia realized she was missing her husband. She then told Alexis that she didn't want to date her anymore, she let her know she misses her husband and would love to be back with him. Alexis who was said to know the husband because she frequents her apartment and knows all her kids was not happy with this development. A week after Gregory threw a birthday party for their six-year-old daughter named Harmony, Alexis decided to act. Alexis could not take it no more so she employed the services of Xavier Davis, age 28. The plan was for him to work on credit. She told him she wanted to kill some people and after he finishes killing them, he might find some money in their house. She agreed not to take any of the money found in the victim's house, which slow brain Xavier agreed to. <laughs> On this fateful day in the month of June, at around 10.30 p.m., Xavier went to where Donavia and Gregory lived and knocked, when they opened the door, he pointed a gun to Gregory. He picked up their one-year-old and tossed him onto a bed then lined them all on the couch. Xavier then called Alexis so she could see them begging for their lives and making sure they heard her voice before she instructed Xavier to shoot them all in the head. Xavier shot Donavia in the head, shot Gregory and the two kids too but the ten-year-old was struck in the arm instead. She played dead and waited for the gunman to leave before she called for help. It was later said that Xavier never found any money in the house. This a little girl who they tell me is traumatized and a nagging curiosity about who would do something like this to a young family that just moved out to these apartments a couple of months ago. Why? That's the only thing we want to know why. Why? These are babies. And it, it, it hurts. So why? Why? 
Why? I, that's what I don't understand. Still no answers for this family who learned late last night that someone shot and killed their loved ones. Donyavia Lagway and Gregory Carhey, who had been together for more than a decade, and their six-year-old daughter, Harmony, died. An infant wasn't hurt. We were out to Southwest Memorial uh, Ambulance 82 and you transporting a 10-year-old black female with a gunshot wound to her right arm. That little girl, also inside the apartment, survived the shooting. The fact that um, she waited until he left and pretended that she was dead. And then when he left, she locked the door, grabbed her little brother, called her grandmother. It's devastating. My, my little niece is, but she's brave. She's very brave. Her family says she's very smart and they're all very close. When we got the phone call, we immediately came to uh, be comfort to each other. And they also all want the same thing. For the folks who uh, did, did this, y'all yeah, will get y'all justice. According to their grandma, who the 10-year-old called, she said to her on the phone, Granny, someone came in and shot me, my mom, my dad, and my sister, and they dead. She was said to be in the house for about 15 minutes with the bodies until they got to her. When authorities arrived on the scene, they found a father, a 29-year-old pregnant mother and a 6-year-old girl who were fatally shot. The 6-year-old who recently celebrated her birthday didn't make it. Detectives canvassed the apartment complex and recovered surveillance video in their search for the person who shot the family. The couple's 10-year-old daughter who was shot in the arm was taken to a hospital in stable condition. Her 1-year-old brother, who was in the apartment, was unharmed, and her other brother, aged 8, was away with his uncle at the time of the attack. At the, uh, this apartment complex, a young child was shot, and the young child from the apartment complex was calling her grandmother and uh, various other family members to say she'd been shot along with two other people in the apartment, had been shot. Uh, we arrived on the scene. We found two adults uh, deceased, one child deceased, one injured, which is at the hospital right now getting treated. Um, She's in stable condition. Right now, the investigation is ongoing. Uh, this is a very, very tragic scene. Um, we're, we're sending out prayers to the family. Um, this, this was a very difficult scene, not only for us, the officers, but for the family as well. So we're sending out prayers and in hopes that if anybody has any information, uh, the investigation is still ongoing. We still have no suspect. Suspect is at large. Uh, we, we would appreciate any information that can be given at this time. And that's all we have at this moment if anybody has any questions. Further investigation led to information that identified Xavier as the suspect in this case. He was taken into custody on July 1st on an unrelated family violence charge and was subsequently charged for his role in the shooting. He was charged with three counts of capital murder and one count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. The man accused of murdering a couple and one of their children last week was in court today and there's a change to his bond situation. Xavier Davis facing three counts of capital murder and one count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. David Gonzalez live downtown with more on what happened in court today. David. Hey, Len. Yeah, Davis went before a judge today on one of those capital murder charges, and he's being held without bond until all the cases are combined. Inside the 209th District Court, Xavier Davis made his first court appearance since being arrested and charged with killing a young couple and their six-year-old daughter. Prosecutors say last Wednesday, Davis went to 29-year-old Donavia Lagway's apartment and shot and killed her, the father of her children, 35-year-old Gregory Carkey, and their daughter, Harmony Carkey. A 10-year-old was also shot but survived after playing dead. Once we get all of the cases in, we'll have a, a hearing on the record and we'll go forward from there and judge will make an ultimate bond determination. Davis's attorneys plan to request a reasonable bond amount at their client's next hearing. I think that based on the, the severity of the charges and based on the facts in this case, I was anticipating that he would be held at no bond and expected that from Judge Warren. And I believe ultimately he made the right decision. In capital cases, um, the judge can have a hearing if the state wants to hold him at no bond. He would be he would normally be entitled to a bond. Davis's attorneys plan to request a reasonable bond amount at their client's next hearing. That's a big can of worms you know, that you get into and whether or not the judge can hold somebody without a bond and make a decision early on whether or not they think there's proof evident that he's likely to get the death penalty. Davis was let out of the courtroom in handcuffs. His next hearing has not been set. After the cops were able to get into Donavia's phone, they were able to link the dots, 
Also they got Alexis talking about the killing with Xavier on jail phone. They caught Alexis red-handed at this point. She was subsequently arrested. Alexis Williams, age 29, was charged with three counts of capital murder, in addition to aggravated assault with a deadly weapon for her role in the triple homicide that happened on June 30, 2021. So tonight, a new arrest and a shocking triple murder from last year. A couple shot and killed along with their six year old daughter and investigators say all three were killed on the orders of a woman who was a jilted lover. That woman facing a judge today, Matt Doherty tonight with the shocking details of how police connected her to the crime. The woman called the mastermind behind the murders is sitting in a jail cell here in downtown tonight. Prosecutors say she may have watched the entire thing happen on a FaceTime call. Alexis Williams. 29 year old Alexis Williams faced a judge tonight for the first time. She's charged with three counts of capital murder, accused of setting up a plot that left a mother, a father and a child dead. Back in June of 2021, Donavia Lagway, Gregory Carhe, and six-year-old Harmony Carhe were found dead in their Fondren apartment. Prosecutors said Lagway was separated from her husband when she had a romantic relationship with Alexis Williams. The mother of four broke things off with Williams and returned to her husband, which allegedly angered Williams to the point of murder. If, if that's the consequence of dating this defendant, nobody in Harris County is safe. At today's bail hearing, her bond was denied. She was not allegedly the gunman, although she coordinated the entire um, event, it appears. Williams spoke only once during today's hearing. I, I can fully understand what the You have no bond in any of the three capital murders. Oh, okay. Prosecutors say Williams conspired with suspected hitman Xavier Davis, promising him several thousand dollars in the family's apartment for the murders. During the shooting, the car he's 10-year-old daughter watched while her family was killed. She was also shot, but survived by playing dead. This incredible young lady was able to get up, despite being gravely wounded, care for her one-year-old baby brother who was still in the apartment. Davis was arrested days later, but Williams carried on with life as usual. It apparently uh, went down that the defendant attended the funeral service of these victims that she helped to kill. Prosecutors say detectives were able to piece together the plot once they were able to crack the passcode to Williams' cell phone. When Xavier Davis was inside that apartment, he was on FaceTime with Alexis Williams. That means that she watched either the executions or the immediate aftermath. A lot of people were shocked by the arrest because Alexis attended their funeral ceremony and was crying uncontrollably. She tried to get bond, but it was rejected. She was denied a bond. 29-year-old Alexis Williams is facing three counts of capital murder and an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge. This is all attached to the triple murder from last summer along Fondren, where investigators say Williams hired someone to shoot and kill that family. Investigators say they can connect her to the shooting via FaceTime and phone calls, showing Williams did not want to be there in person, but did want to see the aftermath. According to prosecutors, Williams even attended the funeral for the victims. I don't think that there are many adults out here that could have done what she did. Um, and then to have, you know, the, the mental capacity to call her parent, to call her grandparents and her uncle to get help there for herself and her little brother. Um, it, it's amazing. And, and what she did probably helped save her little brother's life. We are told that Alexis Williams and the mother who was killed were dating and had just recently broken up before the murders. No decision has been made yet on whether Williams and Davis will face the death penalty. As for the next steps, prosecutors will now have the, to present the case to a grand jury. Back to you. A very sad ending to the life of three innocent people at the hands of a monster. It seems like a crime from a movie. We hope justice will be served very soon. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Donavia Lagway. We do hope they all continue to rest in peace. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.